Hello, hello, hello. Today we are continuing our Elvia tour and we are at Alter Imps this evening. And it's, it's, uh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep it a buck fitty. All right, this place is not that good, but it is also not the worst. So I'll give it that. Um, but I would, I would, I wouldn't grind here for fun, I guess is what I would say. I would not be like, hey, yo, man, let's go grind Alter Imps, uh, make some money. Like, eh, nah, I'm not saying that. It's a little unfortunate, but that is the sad truth of Elvia is that most of the spots since they've been nerfed on PC and we kind of got the super nerfed Elvia on console. Yeah, it's pretty shit. It's it's I'm not going to lie. I, I genuinely hate the fact that we get kind of the table scraps on console and we don't get to experience some of the good life before we have to deal with the you know the slums <laughs> like we we are the poverty raid right now on console it really sucks but you know let's just jump into the trash with alter imps so if you're coming to alter imps nine times out of ten you're looking for tearful um, night shards which are pretty decent you get about nine to ten an hour uh, on a good hour you can get anywhere up to 15 i've gotten as high as that before especially when you're getting bosses back to back to back and if you're grinding on arsha i usually grind on arsha 24 7 but um you know sometimes you just get griefed and your hour gets a little scuffed but it is what it is however i will say the average 9 to 10 pretty standard so if you're looking to at least have the the, sh the blue shards done in about 10 hours this is about, you know, a comfortable spot to do. And plus it's a group spot, so you can grind with a homie, talk in voice chat, and it's not super monotonous and boring. But, um, you know, again, it's still shit, so it is what it is. Uh, as for the trash loot, I got about 6.9k this hour. Usually I'll get 7.3 to 7.5, but uh, I was showing someone how to grind alter imps today. So for this like trash loot, it was kind of like a little scuffed, but you can get upwards of like 7.3 to 7.5. I've seen some people on Garmoth apparently pull 9K. I don't know what that's about. Uh, I don't know if you're using a yellow loot scroll or you're lying or what the fuck, but I've never been able to get above. I, I don't even think I've reached 8K before. So not gonna hold you. I don't know how you're pulling 9K. I like, I genuinely, I don't know how you're doing that. Well, that's just me though. Uh, anyway, aside from the trash loot, uh, we got OKRs tied seven. That's a little low. Usually I get nine to 10. So this was kind of uh, kind of shit if I'm being honest, but you know, I'd rather show kind of the lower end of the spectrum rather than just always show the high end because that's, I feel like this is more realistic for a lot of people. So I don't want to just show the good numbers and not show the bad and not show like, you know, the mid range to bad numbers. And then we got three of the BMCs, which is, yeah, that's about right. 90 and 93 armor and weapon stones, which translates to about like close to 19 mil and about 12 mil. So that's pretty, that's, that's pretty normal. Uh, if you're looking to get a bunch of armor stones, they're banging right now. Not going to hold you because uh, if you, if you just farm a lot of Elvia, you're going to rack up a bunch of armor stones. I've got like 4k of each just for like the past week of grinding, which if I were to sell all of them currently right now, I would actually make roughly around 2 billion silver. So that's actually pretty decent. If you just let them kind of stack up and not sell them immediately, you can have a bigger payout later on. That's more, you know, satisfying, I guess. Then we got void seeds, uh, nine. That's spot average. Uh, you get about nine to 10 per hour. Uh, again, good hours. You can get about upwards of 15. I think me and Guido one time we got 20. We were just getting bosses left and right. And it was just, it was super popping. So the void seeds are probably the only saving grace about this spot. If it wasn't for the void seeds, this spot is terrible. This spot is no money if it wasn't for these void seeds because the void seeds are 10 mil a pop and you average about nine to 10. So that's about an extra 90, 100 mil right there on top of your trash loot, which is about 105, 110, give or take, maybe 120 if you can pull a little bit higher. So, you know, if it wasn't for the void seeds, this spot would be, I would write this spot off. This would, this is horrible. <laughs> this is horrible if it wasn't for the void seeds. And you can also get a tears of the arid river or whatever the, like for the river necklace. So that sells for about 60 mil. It's trash, but you know, it's extra money. So you might as well add it in. And then, um, four mass, mass magic thingies and three of the tears of the sun. So yeah, that's, yeah, this is about you know low end of the spectrum for uh, alter imps but 
the average for if you were to sell literally everything minus the shards of the tearful knight you would be averaging roughly around mm, i'd say oh man it's it's like anywhere between 260 ish mil to about 320 to 340 and that's assuming you get a you know tears of the arid river assuming you get that like that's the the main issue is if you get it okay then you're gonna you, you bump your trash up to something decent but you're never really going to break like four or five hundred mil in my opinion like i just don't I, I really just don't get it like i said i'm looking at some of these numbers here apparently there, there's some fucking cracked kuno or something that's pulling 10k an hour like i'm gonna need to see some citation my guy like on, on god <laughs> i'm gonna need to see some citation like this motherfucker right here i'm, I'm looking at this shit this dude apparently is pulling 864 million on a blue scroll i call cap absolute cap i there is no shot there is no shot you're doing that literally this man on a blue scroll blue scroll one hour agris no yeah fucking right my guy yeah right there's no shot yeah i call a giga cap on that shit but it, you know it, it is what it is but um yeah it's, it's just some of these numbers on garmoth are really scuffed in my opinion i i think there's a lot of them that are cap as fuck unless i see a video about that shit it's cap as fuck but yeah overall uh for console on the low end of the spectrum here you're looking at about like 260 270 and then on the high end high like like mid to high range you're looking 340 360 maybe and uh, if you get lucky on some you know okiaras and uh tears of the aired river you could you know I, i've pulled two tiers in one hour so that can translate to you know 120 130 mil right there so you can push 400 mil if you get lucky with the tiers and you know it's it's still not good it's still not good if i'm being honest but anyway that's it for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed it i'll talk to you guys later Bye bye